Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video I am going to talk and show you guys what's on my Android device. I am doing this video since most of our viewers were particularly interested in the launcher that I was using in the various phones that I have done videos on. Now, irrespective of which phone I use, I always end up having the same setup on all of them. The same set of applications, widgets, etc. So right now, I am using the Galaxy i7 Edge just because of its great camera performance. I love the Mi 5 for its compact size but it does not offer a camera experience that is as good as the Galaxy S7 Edge. And to me, the camera experience of a phone is very, very important. It's not something that I can compromise on. For the launcher, I'm using Nova Launcher which in my opinion is hands down the best launcher on the Google Play Store. It offers plenty of customization options and features to play around with so you can have your own unique setup the way just like you want it to be. Let me explain my setup to you guys first. So I have three home screens with the one in the middle being my primary home screen. At the bottom you can see that I have a dock with five icons. It houses the most frequently used applications that I use. So there's the dialer app. Then this folder called chat contains Hangouts, Slack, Telegram and WhatsApp. These are all the applications that I use on a daily basis to communicate with my friends or with my work colleagues. Then this icon is actually not for the app drawer but instead it's for an app dialer. I absolutely hate the app drawer and I find it to be an extremely inefficient way of opening applications quickly. If you have hundreds of applications installed like me, there's a huge list that you have to scroll down to find the application. It can get very frustrating especially when you are in a hurry. With app dialer, all I need to do is simply key in the first few alphabets of the application that I want to open and it will automatically show. The other two shortcuts are for Chrome and Relay Pro or Reddit Time for Android. Now, the interesting thing about this dock is that I also have some other shortcuts installed. In case I require access to the app drawer for some reason, a simple swipe up on the app dialer shortcut will bring up the app drawer. Similarly, if I want quick access to Hangouts, which is what I use more frequently than WhatsApp or Telegram, I simply do a swipe up on the folder. Similarly, Swiping up on the phone icon will directly call my mom. The other icons on my home screen are pretty self-explanatory. You have Instagram, Twitter, YouTube Creator Studio, Snapchat and Gmail. I was using Phoenix earlier as my daily Twitter client but I recently switched over to Twitter for Android. The app is not as good as Phoenix but it gets the job done. And since I'm a heavy Twitter user, I can quickly compose a tweet by simply swiping up on the Twitter icon. The calendar widget you see here is a part of today calendar. An agenda widget is absolutely a must for me because I have a tendency to forget important things and events and so I need to be constantly reminded of them. Swiping to the left, I have a weather widget. This is from Weather Timeline, a very nice weather application in my opinion. Tapping on it, you can see it provides me with detailed weather report which I never actually use I just basically keep it here just to check the weather that's it then the bottom set of applications these are the applications that I want to use more but I actually never do so you have the usual set of Google applications and then there is Trello and Todoist which are basically a sort of to-do lists finally the leftmost home screen has shortcuts to Pocket Casts and music. Pocket Cast is a podcast manager and music is obviously for listening to music. I also have a secondary dock which I can access by swiping to the left. Uh, it has three shortcuts which are for Savan, Quote which is a Feedly reader and Sleep as Android which one can use to track their sleeping cycle. I'll provide a link to all the applications that I have shown in this video in the description below. Now if I want to quickly access the notification bar I can do so by a simple swipe down on my home screen. Similarly, a swipe up will bring up the recent app view. For the wallpaper, I'm currently using Mosaic with an HD landscape wallpaper plugin that is set to change my wallpaper every six hours. So one of the highlights of Mosaic is that I can simply double tap on the home screen to remove the blur and get a clear view of the wallpaper. If you are not really using Mosaic, you really should try it out because it's a great application. The icon that I'm using right now is called Glim Light, but I keep cycling through a bunch of other icon packs like Alos, Axis, Click UI, Minimal UI, Marina, Knox, Fix, Stark, Switch UI, Vibe, and more. As for the handset itself, you can see that I'm not really a case guy, I absolutely hate using cases, but since the Galaxy S7 Edge has a glass back, it is prone to getting scratched easily. 
So I put a deep brand skin. It's the copper skin. It gives the phone a very blingy look. So yeah, guys, I guess that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions regarding my setup, do drop in a comment below and let me know about it. Do hit the like button below. And subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.